Hey guys, so in my last video, my outfit of the night, I um, showed you my hair and the Babyliss Nano Titanium Mirror Curler and a few people wanted a tutorial so I thought I would do one. Um, I'm going to work today and I just thought I would start doing this. Uh, as you can see, I've finished. Um, but I go through it and then I kind of will speed it up a little bit, but then I just stopped filming because it was just getting boring. I have so much hair. Um, but I hope you enjoy this video and, um, if you want to know about this, keep watching. So this is the Babyliss, uh, Mira Curl. It is Nano Titanium by Babyliss Pro. Uh, this is the box that it came in. I got mine off Amazon, but the seller that I bought it from either is sold out of this or doesn't have it anymore. Um, cause I went back to that link and it's now dead. So I'll kind of explain the machine for you. Uh, so it's similar in size to like a, a flat iron. So they're about the same size and they have the same kind of closing mechanism. Um, mine is off right now. Um, this barrel needs to be to your head at all times when you do it. And I'll kind of talk you through these buttons. Um, but the first one over here is the heat button and there's three different heat settings. Um, I'm just going to crank it to the highest one, which is probably like 400 and something degrees. Um, because as you can see, my hair is very thick and I have a lot of it. So, um, this is just my hair. I washed it this morning and then I just blew it dry. Um, you need dry hair. It doesn't need to be clean hair, but I find it works better if you do have clean hair. So I just use this, um, you know, which is just blown dry, no straightening, no nothing. Um, I had a Brazilian keratin treatment back in August. So, um, this is kind of what it looks like after that much time has passed. Um, okay. So as you can see, the light's going to blink in one since, uh, done blinking, it's ready to go. <clears throat> Uh, then the middle button right here is the seconds and you, you can turn this off if you don't want to use that, but it's basically the mechanism that beeps at you and it'll beep, you'll hear it. Um, and then it'll beep four times to let you know to release the curl. And then this one over here just says R, L, and A, which means right, left, and automatic. Um, if you want your curls to go away from your face, which I typically do, um, I'll put it on R for the right side of my head and L for the left side of my head. Uh, but if you don't care, you can use A, which just alternates them. So as soon as this is done, what I do with my hair is since I do have so much of it, I have to section it into a bunch of different sections. So I'm just going to do the bottom section and I work my way up. Um, the first time I did this, I used hairspray, uh, but the second time that I did this, I didn't and they stayed for me. So you can use hairspray if you want, but I'm not going to today. So I just section my hair and kind of divide it into two sides. Okay, so this is good to go. Uh, my sisters were here last night and I was kind of showing them how to use it and they have much shorter hair than I do and it's a lot finer than mine. Um, so I was trying to show my sister because if you put too much hair in, it's not going to eat your hair. Like if I tried to put all of this in, it'll beep at you and it won't, and it won't let you, um, and it won't suck in your hair. So like if I try to do this, which, oh, it did take it. So I don't want to curl all that, but if you put too much hair in, it'll beep. So you kind of want to do one inch sections. Um, tipic so depending on how long your hair is determines how much you can stick in there because it's going to suck it up and wrap around a barrel that's inside here. So like I said, you need this like gray piece to be towards your head and so you just clamp it in you can start your curl wherever you want um I'm gonna for the bottom so I'm gonna start them like right here and so you just clamp down and you let go and it's kind of scary at first but it just sucks it in um and then you'll hear that beep and when you hear four beeps you can release and that's it and so you have a curl and I just leave them as they are until I'm all done and then I kind of shake them out. So I'll keep showing you. And so you can brush them out, brush out your hair just to make sure there's like no knots in it. And it's kind of mindless. Like you can just kind of do this really easily. Um, it doesn't take very long to do my whole head, which I have a lot of hair. It takes probably like 15 minutes. Um, and you can, you know, go about doing whatever you, it's nearly impossible to burn yourself. I don't know how you would do that. 
Um, but see, you can see it just makes perfect little ringlets. Um, <clears throat> So I'm going to listen to music and I don't know what I'm going to do. So there it goes. Um, so yeah, and then I just keep going and then when I want to switch to this side of my head, which I just got a curl or here. Um, I just switch it to left. And then you can start from wherever you want, really. So again, that towards your head. And then I'm going to speed it up after I do this piece and then I'll just so I have mine right now on I think eight seconds but I'll just check that for you so there you go um, I have it on 10 seconds so you can see um, and you can go back and redo pieces, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to redo. I'll kind of just like shake it around a bit um, and shake the curls out a little bit. Like I said, I'm not putting any um, hairspray in it, but you can if your curls don't really stay, but mine really don't have any problems with this. Um, I like them to be a little bit looser, so I'll brush them out with my fingers. And you know, if your hair tends to fall out, then um, I would just get it to how you like it and then spray it after that. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of look around my head and I'll kind of show you the back of it too, um, and see if I missed anything. Um, but yeah, so that is the whole, the whole product. Um, it's kind of a life-changing thing for me because I don't, I can't use a curling iron. I like burn myself 
it doesn't look right. It looks really silly. Um, so like this is kind of weird over here, but I think it's because I have a shorter piece of hair. Um, yeah, so I'll just kind of play with it until I get it how I want it. Um, and like I said, this will kind of last for me and give me curls and waves for like a few days. And um, it looks really pretty when it's like up or you can, you know, do really whatever you want with it. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.